fight! Hey guys, this is Versatile from VST Power, now host on Project Phoenix Media. So I recently got my very own E3 NOR Flasher. Because what I'm going to do guys is in the very near future, I am going to downgrade my fat PS3. So I have a fat PS3, it is the model number CECHL, and I'm going to downgrade from 4.66 to 3.55, and then from there go to custom firmware, and there's going to be a lot of good times for a really great tutorial series. So let's take a look and see what the E3 NOR Flasher is all about. So it is basically a hardware downgrader, that's what you need. You can't go from 4.66 for example straight to 3.55, it doesn't work like that. So see the more info section for some links and to, to determine if you're fat or slim, PS3 is downgradable. So we take a look inside real quick here, here's my E3 flasher and I sort of repackaged this earlier so let me just take some of this stuff out here. Here's the E3 flasher, comes with its own little hard drive disc tray. And let me just pop it out here. And yes, this is the real deal. The real deal has a paper white backing that comes with the tray here. So that's how you know that's proof there. Also, if you take a look in the actual E3 flasher itself, um, one of the things you will notice that, just give me a second here, let me pull this out real quick here. Don't want to damage it as I pull this out. Really deli delicate hardware. So one thing you to note is if you got the real deal, you'll see like there is this clear case right here over this middle part. So that's how you know you got a real E3 flasher. Another thing is when you look on the back, actually I take that back, is you look on the front, like right here in this area, there should not be any numbers by those traces. If you do, then you don't have uh, of the real E3 flasher, you got a fake one. So you go to Google, I got a link on the, on the more info section, links on you know how to distinguish between a real E3 flasher versus a fake one. So let's go through the box here. Here we got your E3 linker. So this is like if you want to solder from your motherboard to the E3, you could do that if you don't want to use the ribbon cable. Here's the actual E3 flasher. TF board basically. So here you got your micro SD slot, here you got your start and stop buttons, and you have your little dongle switches. And that's what you would use to connect into the E3 flasher, so here's the back of it. And then last but not least, you got your actual E3 flasher cable. I'm not gonna take it out right now, but that's what it looks like. And the other angles to the E3 flasher itself. So that is the E3 NOR flasher, like I said. This is what I am going to use and what you may need to use too to downgrade your PS3. There is no simple firmware software download to go straight from 4.66 to 3.55. So if your PS3, if you got it and it was um, out of box at a firmware level below 3.55, you're good to go for a downgrading. So if you guys have any questions about the downgrade process, please write them down because as I make my tutorial series, I want to make sure I capture all the answers to your guys' questions and I'll do the best I can. So that's today's unboxing video. If you guys have any nitpicky questions, leave a comment here on YouTube page. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.